So we've actually come back to something quite interesting today. It's been under my radar to check this out for quite a long time now. And I found this place on Google Maps, just scouring over this location. It took ages to find such things like this. And we actually found them, some abandoned shacks. And I'm actually, one of them is actually American style, which I'm, I'm really hoping is going to be interesting to check this out. But Urbex Adventures will check it out, haven't you? Yeah, um, it took me about um, four four months when we was in lockdown to find this shack uh, because it's so buried deep in a woodland and I didn't know which way to turn for the best to get to this shack. Um, I found the path, what leads down to it, but I'm not joking, Ugh, I couldn't really film it in summer. It's that overgrown, I had trouble getting down to this shack. So I'm hoping today we've had a lot of rain we are geared up with boots on, but how muddy it's going to be to get down to this massive shack, I don't know. Uh, what's inside, I don't know. But we've got a few cool explorers what I found in summer, but we're actually going to go to, and one's a car. Um, so I'm going to check all this out today. And I hope you enjoy this video. Um, if you, you know, put comments, what you think, or whatever. Yeah, and uh, also if you're interested, go and check out our channel while we're here. And um, at the end of the video, go and have a look. She's got some amazing vids on there. Well, let's go and make our way now to where we've got to get to. But I've, I've tried this before. And I, I, I always thought this path would have actually took us to these shacks, but we took a different one last time. And we got told off, unfortunately. Yeah, the farmer had us. But he can't tell us off from here because you can actually go down there. No one owns um, this path. One thing I should mention, um, we've stood by a bench here. Now this bench, is overlooking to where we're going to the shack. Now I'm thinking um, it's Thomas, it's, his name's Thomas, in remembrance of this bench, and I f I'm sure to God um, this bench is overlooking where they used to live in this shack. So this is pretty interesting. This is how I found the shack yeah. in the beginning through yeah. this bench. So as you can so, see. Right then, as you can see, look. This bench here, and you can obviously see it says in memory of Thomas. What does that say? Red, Redfern, 29th of December 1989. And um, obviously, somebody else found a shack that was here many, many years ago, and they put it on 28 days there. And I've been trying to find the shack over many times, haven't I? Yeah, and I've I've, I found the shack. After six months of searching where we are, I fa actually found the shack. I couldn't believe it. And you know what, Drew? Wow. We walked right past it, I couldn't yeah. believe it, we didn't set the right road. And obviously I, I thought it would have been there because where the trees was and we thought, no, it's not going to be down there. And it obviously was, wasn't it? Yeah. But it is a real mission to get inside this shack and back out it. Honest to God, it's all overgrown. It, it took me a good half hour to get through it, so... It's pretty cool to explore. So we're going to head... Here's the bench. And we're going to head in that direction, and uh, so we're not going to bore you with the uh, walk to it because it's just a woodland. Um, so we'll catch up with you guys when we get actually get to the shack. arrived here but with the um, leaves off the trees I can see a couple of houses so we might have to be a mega bit quiet on this uh, explore this one um, now we've arrived here but it seems quite dry the ground so there's a chance we can get down to it if it's not a uh, bramble too much so this is a bit of a bloody mission this one Side as well, look. Yeah. 
say I have pizza all day to come here. It is windy, so what the footage is going to come out with the wind, I'm sorry, peeps. In the distance there, I can see the roof of it. And it looks pretty bad, quite honest. as well. I don't think I can see anybody. See the old um, lampshades up there. I bet this was a cool place though to live in at one time. It's quite cool. Look at the old window. Oh wow, this is cool. Look how huge this is. It's in such decay as well. That is decayed really bad. I mean, probably years ago, this place would probably be really good mint condition. It's all the weather we've had, ain't it? And that lot is just, it's just uh, the woods. I'll try and get a front view. Um, as we're getting inside, I don't know because the floor is in such decay. Yeah, did you see what I meant by American style um, shack? It's very hard to get across some of the It does look really like an American type of building. It's, it's amazing. Wow, there's a cupboard in there. What's rotted to the ground? Um, I'll get my torch out. Oh, look inside there, that. I want to avoid you going in. But if you can see, some more things in there. I really want to get inside it, quite honest. I mean, you've got no chance of even treading on this. You've got to, if you put your foot on that, you'll be able to see that. So I'm taking a look inside and there's an old, I don't know what that is up there. Microwave now, it's a little cooker or something. And I can see up there the old electrics. I really want to get inside, but the floor. Oh my God, there's a cool little uh, record deck there. I'm not sure whether to get inside because the floor is in such decay and I don't want to fall through. Actually, I can see some books. Pretty cool. So, sitting on this bench here, it would have had a really nice uh, view over there. It must have been beautiful living in a place like this, with this view. But you can see, this has been abandoned for many, many years, I think. It would have been interesting though, things in, left inside at one time.
going to go in there? No, I don't think I am. It's in such decay, isn't it? Right, peeps, we'll uh, yeah, move on yeah. to the next location. Um, we picked a bad day, it is raining. Um, now I'm going to set off now, get out of here, and go to the next uh, location with the cars. So we've arrived at the uh, second location with a car, and the next bit is a bit of a curio place. Yeah. Um, it's been an hour's walk to get to this. Taz, I'm it's shattered. From, the, from that other shack, is oh, yeah. Well, I fell down in the woodland from that shack. I'm a right bloody state. <laughs> <laughs> it's so muddy because we've had a lot of rain the past two days. It's unbelievably bloody terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so what car this is, I don't know. Uh, you'll have to put comments below. Uh, it is... Uh, been abandoned for some time, this car has. I'm actually looking forward to actually seeing this. So. Yeah, it's quite a cool you, car. I've seen it, but I, I haven't had a chance to see this yet, but that's why I've gone out today to have a look at this. Well, it's a pretty cool car. Is it? But when, when I look down there, it looks amazing. It looks really old. Is it, it looks like an American car, do it? No, I think what it is, it's an old pensioners car. Oh, I, don't, I don't know what you call them. I oh, think God. it's that, so comments yeah. below. If yeah. you recognise what this car could have been. So yeah, if you if you know what these, drop it in my comments what this car could have been and I'll show you in a second when we go up. Can you see it up here? Yeah, uh, the trouble is we've had that much rain. Oh have we? And the hill to get down to this car is unbelievable. Oh. Honest to God. So yeah, we'll go and we, check it out. Yeah, hopefully we can have a quick glimpse of it just to show you guys. Um, that way. Down there. Oh my god, this is bad to get down. The car's there. Oh my god. Oh shit. This is so dangerous. Hop. Oh shit. See the name? Is that Pete? Oh crap. The soil is just like peat, it comes from under your feet. Okay. This looks a bit crazy in here, look. What the hell is all this? That's all that block, is that to do with his check? I don't know. Yeah. There's some folks here off a bike. I wonder what these are. That looks an old bike. That looks an old bike. It's an old bike. Actually, oh, it's an old rally. Yeah. Yeah. That's old. Yeah. I should say that's uh, been here for a long time. It does, it's obviously there's the handlebar to it. Sure, I used to have one of them when yeah. I was young, yes. It's about 80s. 80s yeah, bike. Like, oh, yeah. So if you can turn this down so you can see it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, I got hooked up, Drew. Got it. Go on. Uh, oh, no, I'm hooked. 
I'm hooked. Come on. Come on. No, I'm hooked. I don't know. It's my hood. Uh, thanks, Drew. Christ. It looks like the trees fell down on it, which is crazy. So as you can see on this car, there's no wheels on it, so that is really sunken into the ground and this has been here for some time, this one. But I haven't got a clue what type of car it could be, so comments below if you know. I'm going to get down there and have a take a better look. And the front of this car is so cool. You can see the... Uh, uh, that was the uh, gear stick. Looks like some sort of electric car or something, I don't know. Bloody hell, it's only got the key in it. Has it? Yeah. Oh, There's the key to start it up. It's made of carbon fibre. That's why it's never rotted. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool find this one. Guys, I've got like, it's strange, strange thing. That's why I'm thinking it's one of them cars. Because you've got like the brake here to stop, stop the car. Which is weird. I've, I've never seen one of these before. And there's the seat. Looks like there's something over there. I'm going to try and take a look at the front of the car. I think this tree has actually grown over the car. Yeah, because yeah? if you look at the tree, there's the root. Somehow I've got to get the front of it. Oh, it's a three. Yeah, it is one of them cars. It's a three wheeler. I can see a wheel at the front. Yeah, there's the wheel. It's really old. So you can see the tree just leaning on top of the car as it's grew. Yeah, it's definitely a three-wheeler. I'm not sure what the cord, so comments below if you know. Pretty interesting find, this one. So we'll move on from this car now. We're going to take a look up here, which looks really bizarre. I don't know if there's anything up this side of it, so we're going to take a look. Oh, we found a bunker, Drew. No way. Okay, no, mind you. That's a bunker. Bunker. Yeah. I'll get my tool shout and have a look. Yeah. There's, there's part of it there, look. Yeah. Yeah. She's weird. I know. I can't see down there, but it's. I'm not sure what it is. It goes quite far as well. I'm not getting down there though, because the roof's caving in. 
could be a a bunker from the war. I don't know. It's really hard to say what it is. It's a bit of a strange thing. Because all around here. Nah. That is strange. Some sort of tunnel system. Yeah. Because in down there. This is a bit weird. I don't know. I'm not very good at this sort of stuff, so I don't know what I'm looking at. It's sort of a cesspit or this uh, an old bunker from the war, yeah. I should say. I don't know. Oh Christ, we're on somebody's garden. Oh my god. Can I see a car up there? And me, what is that? Oh yeah. I don't know. What the hell is that on the tree? That? What the hell's that? What's that? I've just wired before. This is weird. I don't know. Some sort of a massive light. With these here, look like old chicken coops. Yeah. I mean, this is weird. We're in the middle of nowhere, Drew. So I don't know what's going on, guys, though, but on the corner here, if you see, like, there's a shed there. There's different kinds of sheds, but I think them chicken coops, do you? Yeah, I think they are. Sort of like and that there, there's like a dock kennel. Very old farming place or some kind. Yeah, but it's in the middle of nowhere. It don't make sense. In Woodland. It's very hard to get this as well, and I'm thinking like, what the hell? It's an old shed, nothing in it. I'll tell you what's strange, you got this old fencing as well. Really old metal fencing beneath that uh, chicken mesh. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah. What's that thing? Don't know. Don't know. What is it? Old light? No. Don't know. <laughs> Comments below if you know what that is. I don't know. Oh, wow. Good shit. See, that looks like a duck kennel. Some sort of animal unit, because you can see there at the bottom. That is a chair doing there. I mean, how long has that chair been there? This chair, though. That's old. Why have we put a chair there? And there's nothing else here. Crazy, there's two. Yeah, two chairs. Strange place. Right. Embassy Slim Pan Panatellas. What's that? Embassy Slim Pan Panatellas. I don't know what that is. Looks like Embassy number one cigarettes, I don't know. Yeah, something to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> it does do it, Embassy. Yeah, Embassy, well, because, you, because well, they you, used to put it on fags, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, but if you know, guys know what that is as well, let me know, drop it in. I mean, because some of this stuff, because this is pretty much all old stuff, and I'm quite interested in all this. Looks like a bit of a scrapyard yeah, place. So, don't think there's nothing else. What's this? Yeah, what's that thing there? Like, yeah. Some sort of slab of some kind. It's in a grave, is he? Just a slab. Yeah. I think that's it for this uh, area. I don't think there's nothing else. Where's the shack? So this place has nothing on it, really. It's a bit rubbish. 
So I'm going to move on to the uh, next shack now. That one's a bit of a mission to get to. So I'm going to head over there now, which will be another hour's walk to get to it. And I'll catch you when I get there. So we've arrived at the other shack, but then we've got a big problem. We don't know how to get into any access to get into it. Um, I found the old gate there, but I'm not getting through all that holly. So we're going to have a look around to see if we can see a way to get uh, down into it. It looks all like holly trees as well. But you would never see this. You'd walk right past it. There's the shack right in there. It's well hidden. I think uh, Big Strews found a way in. could be the access. Is this the access? Yeah. Now I can see a house just down there. Yeah, yeah. to be a bit quiet on this one. Now this place was an old time capsule. It took me all summer to find this one. Uh, there used to be a very old fashioned TV inside and everything. What's left inside I just don't know and I, it looks a bit decayed. So we're going to check it out. to try and get in this one if I can if it's not too decayed on the floor this has been abandoned oh, for some time this one honey I love these old type shacks though they're just so cool you can't believe people actually lived in a place like this just crazy. <sighs> Looks like the uh, ceiling's decaying and falling down. Not sure if he's had a, it's a bit of a fire up there as well. Uh, it's with a 
Oh, wow. Mad, ain't it? God, this is so tiny. I know. There's an old, old spring bed there. Yes, yeah, that's, that's really bed. old. You can't believe somebody actually lived in a little oh, no, place like mad, this. Ain't it? So small. If I can get over. Look at the old chair. Wow. It just decayed. Uh, we got to watch wow, the roof. Yeah, look at the roof. Uh, oh, the roof's coming roof. down on us. It's absolutely collapsing. This, this place ain't going to last I mean, much longer than a year now. It's got air vents up there. Yeah. It's really changed from the photos when I see it on 28 days later. It's much more decayed than what it was. It's all covered. I remember them electric fires, yeah. really old. Old table. There wasn't much room in here at all. Old shoes. But there is a there was a very old TV in here. Yeah, I've seen the old TV. It was on the um, on the website, wasn't it? It's just a bag of old shoes. That would have been the airboat to that uh, very old um, spring bed. Another spring bed over there. I should say the TV's got robbed, to be fair. Oh God, there's an old sweeper down there. I can feel the uh, floor decaying, I'm treading on something. I assume he's still got the light bulb up there. <laughs> See over there, I'll try and point it out. There's a tree just there. Well, that big tree is going on this roof. It won't be long before the whole thing caves in. And I'm standing under this flat. Crazy. that much of a mess in there I can't even get round to look at anything see if I can spot that TV well, I'm certain it's got to be gone There is some sort of magazine down here. Newspaper. Let's see if I can uh, check the date. Looks 2003. The date on that. We can check the other side of the building out. Is there anything much there? No, there ain't much. No. Doesn't look very safe at all. That there used to be an old dock kennel, by the looks of it. So that's it then, isn't it? Yeah. So guys, I think that's it. Um, we found the two shacks and car, and that weird place. God knows what that was. So, it is, it is a brilliant explorers. I hope this shack was still the same like it was. Um, only one or two people have ever found this place. It's really hard to find. Um, shame, really, 
but quite interesting at the same time. It's not a brilliant video, so like and subscribe, comment, but please do keep your comments to yourself because I've been having some weird comments on some of my videos, which is a bit stupid, really. Um, you know, where it goes. Um, we'll be back soon with a better video. We have got something really cool we're going to soon. Um, really good to explore this one. And I haven't seen it on YouTube before, so I can't wait for the next location. So check uh, our videos out. And keep an eye out for the new video coming soon. And I'll see you soon, guys. Mm -hmm.